All right. Today we're going to be working on some third grade math. The goal of today is to represent and solve problems using multiplication. Okay, and you see we have two problems. Both of these problems we're going to represent and solve them using multiplication. All right, let's go ahead and zoom in on this first one here. It says Alejandra, excuse me, Alondra makes four necklaces. She uses five beads on each necklace. Which number sentence could be used to find the number of beads Alondra uses? Okay. Well, I like to read it once all the way through first, and then um, I like to go back and highlight and underline important information. So that's a good habit of mine, especially for, for, for the young homies out there. You all definitely want to make sure that you're using your colorful highlighters and your pencils and stuff. Underline this information. So first thing we want to underline, we're going to go to the question. It says, we really want to find a number sentence or which number sentence can we can we use to find the total number of beads, okay? And what's some important information? I'm pretty sure some of you already said, yeah, we need to underline the four necklaces. Maybe somebody else said, well, hey, she said she put five beads on each necklace, okay? So now we've identified the important information we want to go ahead and start to represent this situation represent it with a drawing or some type of image or some type of representation usually we refer to some type of drawing or picture representation so because i underline it necklaces four necklaces in red i'm going to draw four red necklaces oops that's green let me get the red all right one two three four so those are my four necklaces and they say how many beads on each necklace five so one two three four five and now I'm gonna do that for the rest of them one two three four five one two three four five and the last one okay <coughs> excuse me God bless me all right now we got our four necklaces. We got our five beads on each necklace. Now all we got to do really, we could just count them up, but we're trying to figure out the number sentence. That's the important thing here. What number sentence can we really use to help us figure out uh, how many she has here? Well, there are four. We can count them four necklaces and how many beads on each necklace? Five. So we can put a five here, five there five there and a five there because that five represents the number of beads on each um, necklace so one way we could do this is by adding we could just count them all up five beads plus another five beads plus another five beads plus another five beads that would give us 20. now what's a what's an even quicker way of doing this most of you probably already know multiplication because we already said we were going to represent and solve the problem using multiplication so addition is from first and second grade. We're in third grade now, so we really want to make sure we focus on the multiplication aspect. How many fives do we have here? There's four, and it's it's four fives, four times five, and that's going to give us 20. So our correct answer here is A. Why is B correct? Excuse me. Let's look at why these other choices would be incorrect. What's wrong with B? Well, some of you might say that B should be, instead of four fours, it should be four fives. So really, it should be five plus five plus five plus five, if it was the correct answer. But it's not. What's wrong with C? Well, C, if we wanted it to equal 20, we could put four plus four plus four plus four plus four. That would equal 20, but that's not the reason why this is incorrect for this one. It doesn't represent this situation. Because we don't have five beads with four. We don't have five necklaces with four beads. We have four necklaces with five beads. And D is just a distractor. We see the four and the five. And some people might confuse that and think that it's multiplication when it's not. So that's just like an obviously wrong answer there. All right. Let's take a look at another question similar to this one. Okay. You want to read it first without doing anything to it. So... Lucy and her mother made tacos. They put two tacos on each of seven plates. Select all of the equations that show the total amount of tacos Lucy and her mother made. 
All right. Let's go to the question. We're selecting all that show the total amount of tacos made, right? Now, key thing was select all. And a lot of kids everywhere know about this select all. Select all immediately tells us that there is more than one answer. Immediately. So already, we know that there's going to be more than one right answer here. Select all always pretty much indicates more than one answer. All right. Now, let's go ahead and get back to our representation. Because remember, that's the, the key thing here, the representation. We have the two tacos and those two tacos are placed on seven plates each okay so let's draw seven plates one two three four five six seven now I have my seven plates what do I need to put on each plate two tacos please so I'm gonna put T's each T represents one taco and if we have two T's, that means there are two tacos. Now that I've done that, and what's, what's some equations that we could write that represents this situation that we've shown here? Well, if we take it back to second grade, second grade, we would have wrote it as addition, which this is just repeated addition of what number? One, two, right? Two, and how many twos should you have? So two plus two, that's 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 those two now we need another plus two and another plus two and then plus two so that's five and then we need these last two plus two that's six plus another two that's seven okay I didn't have room to fit it in at the end that's why I put it there in the front but now that we have that what does that equal let me just move the screen over what does it equal 14 that's one of the equations that we should write. And I think that's one of the answer choices. We see that right here. Now, what's another way to represent this same equation? Well, we know that multiplication is just repeated addition. So whenever we have repeated addition of the same number, what number is the same here? Well, the number that's the same is 2. And how many times are we using that 2? 7 times, which makes 14. Now. As we look through our answer choices, we see that answer choice right here. And there we go. So now, that's how you use, or excuse me, that's how you represent and solve problems using multiplication. Let's cross out these final ones here. Let's zoom back out for one final look at both of those beautiful math problems. And I just want to thank everybody for using it. And hopefully this, this made a difference with, with um, your math work. Talk to you later.